Libra. Oh, Libra. What's popping, Libra? Gang. Scales. 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 Because, see, you know, I ain't never been too fast, okay? Scales. We, I'll be right back to that. Hold on, because see, we're going to fight Libra. You know, I was, first and foremost, let me go ahead and correct uh, Miss I Am Faye, because see, I got a Libra rising. Y'all ain't know, y'all finna know, okay? First and foremost, don't say I don't like Libras, because that's not true. How can I not like Libras when I have, I got more Libra and Pisces in my choice than a little bit, okay? I'm actually a watered down ass Aries, or aried up ass Aries, if you must Damn, no, I love Libras, but let me tell you what took me so long to do y'all video. Because I have that Libra rising, do y'all remember a time, for those of you who cross-watching for Aries, about a month ago, okay, when Aries was late as fuck, let me tell you something about me. If I'm in my feelings, I'm not coming to YouTube. My energy is intense, okay? I love you enough not to share that shit with you, okay? Unlike some people, okay, I love you enough not to share that shit with you. And let me tell you something, energetically, when you come into YouTube, you got to be ready, ready if you're going to do Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, and if you're going to fuck with them ramps, energetically, you got to be ready because shit be popping off. And if you're cross-watching funny of them damn signs that I just named, comment down below. Tell me I'm a lie because I'm not, Okay. Let's get it, all right? So, hey, boo, hey, this first time on my channel, I'm Mocha. I got some more shit to talk, but I got to get my intro out the way. This first time on my channel, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, this first time on my channel, I cuss, okay? I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say, oh, but I'm a cuss, okay? So, if cussing does not work for you right damn now. Feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you, because the way I'm set up, y'all, this is my shit. I'm a cuss. I'm going to do what I want, okay? So, with that said, you guys... You know, if this is not your channel right now, here's your moment. And I still, I still love you a long time. I just, you know, I, I just got to do me. All right? Also, for the uh, returning subscribers, hey, boo, hey, family, how you doing? How y'all feeling? Did you miss me? I missed y'all. But I had to get my shit together. I had a, I have a hell of a, I think I have, what is it, 20-something degree Libra or something like that. So because of that, the degree is quite high. It don't sound high, but I, from my understanding, it is. I think I got like four degrees Aries. So, but that shit popping out with that. With that said, if you was going through some shit, sis, bro, we was going through some shit, okay? So, with that said, y'all, we're going to see what messages is here for us, okay? All right. Also, uh, if to the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We're really dysfunctional, okay? We don't fight and fuss, though. We leave that shit on other people's channels. But we do cuss, we laugh, we share, we grow. Positive vibes only over here, even when we talking shit. And I know I can talk my shit how I talk my shit in the Libra video, because y'all be talking shit, okay? So, also, um, you guys, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. This message ain't going to resonate for everybody. You guys take what does, leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe don't fit, don't try and put it on. Yeah, it's going to fall, okay? Also, um, I will be in Mexico. For the end of September, so I am going to be cutting off readings on the 19th, I think. I just found out today we leave on the 21st. I'm all over the damn place with this. I am a maid of honor, first and foremost, in my little sister's wedding. It's a destination wedding, okay? This is my little sister. This is her first wedding. She's a cancer. Need I say more? I ain't going to say more because she might cut me, okay? Listen, I, I'm <laughs> y'all, I'm ecstatic to go, but this has been a lot of work getting to it. So because of that, you guys, y'all have to forgive me because, yeah, apparently you got to do a lot of shit when you're going out the country. So I, I'm still a single mom, y'all, and I be having shit going on like y'all do. The fuck, Libra Rising, we here, we family, y'all, okay? So for those of you who commented in every other video, with that said, said, let me first and foremost say, uh, what, 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 damn it, I couldn't even get it. When you're trying to be cute and you can't get your shit together. I was finna say, uh, what, what, what that little, you, you mad, you tired, you look dusty. No, I'm just playing. But no, I just, <laughs> look, no, I'm just playing, y'all. But no, I was gonna be like, listen, y'all cheap ass, I had a whole $25 last special on Instagram. Why y'all ain't roll on over there and hop on this special? Don't be blowing me up for no free readings. Now that listen, listen, Linda, listen, Libra, listen. I know your birthday getting ready to come up. Y'all ready to slide them damn Virgos out the way? This I know. I know. 
In fact, I think I got to write y'all birthday song because I don't want to get critiqued on some shit I made. Okay? Listen. Listen, Libra. Listen. We're not going to do that. Okay? I said, well, look at them being rude as hell. Now, I expect that from Sagittarius. I had to tell Sagittarius, thank y'all. I had to thank them because usually they good for it. But they behave they self this month. Pisces. Behave they self this month. Them damn bulls. They was happy to probably get a damn video, okay? Because I'm not. And at this point, they, they messed up their 30-day trial. So we cross-watching four tours. I said what I said, and I tried to bend on what I said, and this is what happened when I bend. So because of that, damn it, tour, they probably, they'll probably they get a Christmas gift from me. All right. Okay? And Capricorn's going to roll on that damn list, too. Apparently Capricorn on y'all list to roll on that damn list, too. Okay? Let's talk about it, all right? So without further ado, now I didn't talk to my shit. Because I have to be in power. Then, hold on, I got some more damn shit to talk. Did y'all know, for my Libras that were sending me emails, tell my mocha, where you at? This, this, this. Sis, could you please reach back out to me with an email of how the fuck to do this damn YouTube beta live shit? Because it's really, it's, it's frustrating. I had 24% on my phone, and I couldn't go live with you guys like I wanted to, which is why I made it there, because I was supposed to go live with Virgo, Libra, to, uh, not Taurus, Sagittarius, and uh, Aqua. Listen, the way this computer and shit and my techie knowledge set up, <laughs> and we recording this, okay? But we gonna, we gonna make it special. We are gonna make it real, real, as long as Spirit wants y'all to talk, okay? Because everybody else, y'all know I was cutting them off for 20, 30 minutes. Mmm, cut it off, all right? So I love you guys. And for those of you who said, most must don't like Libras. Nice. Nice. Well, let me tell you something in the past. In the past four months when I do a Libra reading and I have any damn plans of doing anything else later, I'll be oversleeping. You know why? Because I go to bed. A lot of y'all be in it. I feel like a lot of y'all still going to bed. But y'all energy, even now, right now at this very moment, energetically while I'm recording this, and this is what happened when I did my meditative session, okay? But while I'm recording this, I don't know if I want to cry, if I want to fight. If I want to laugh, if I want to bust out and sing and twerk something, or if I just want to go to bed. I feel that I'm going to listen here. We family. Okay? So, let's hope. We're going we're gonna to hope and pray on the balancing of these scales for Libra upon today. Moment of silence for that bullshit. All right, we threw that shit out. Let's roll, okay? So the intuitive messages that we're going to start with for the month of September is, for Libra, you guys got new love, loyal to self, trust issues, collaboration, family interference, clarity, abundance, ascension, plot twist, choose happiness, fear of rejection, codependency, Breaking cycles, drama free, sudden wealth, obsessive, innovator, stalking, manipulator, major decision, new home, now they know. Okay? So let's get it, Libra. Overall energy around the reading. You guys got the four of wands, okay? To clarify that, you guys, I got the king of hearts. And the three of spades, okay? So for some of you all, you're having to leave something in order to walk into happiness. And for some of you all, you're being a slave to your loyalty. Period. Dot. Okay? For some of you all, I'm also uh, feeling that some of you all could be wanting to reconnect with a divine partner, okay? Some type of divine partnership coming into union, but you're needing to let go of the karmic partner, okay? For some of you all, this could have to do with a earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Some of y'all just have to do with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or a water sign, and any of that that I just named you, okay? For some of you all, this has to do definitely with matters of the heart and how you're going to move next. What you're making your next move, your best move, Libra. Okay, so we're going to start off with your angel messages for the month, y'all. I actually even pulled some extra Oshun, uh, I think this is the Oshun Zen Tarot deck or something like that. Um, I think it's, hold on, because the Aries in me is not going to be defeated and being wrong. Yeah, the Osho Zen Tarot, okay. But I wanted to pull that more so to connect with you guys on a subconscious space because I felt a lot of critical thinking energy. But for some of y'all, you're thinking about shit that is what for what? For what? Weigh out the pros and the cons. Is Libra benefited from this situation? Is this situation bringing Libra any growth? Is it preventing Libra's growth? 
Is this situation codependent? Can Libra does Libra have a savings behind taking care of grown ass kids? Hmm. Hmm. Some think about it. Why? Why though? For real. Why though? Okay. So let's get it. First message you guys got was teaching and learning. Archangel Zadkiel. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. Some of you all are spiritual teachers. Some of you all are gurus. Some of you all are, um, I even heard Messiah see. Some of y'all are star seeds. Your, your consciousness is elevating. Some of you guys have literally outgrown the karmic partner that you're with, but there is an issue around letting go. For some of you all, you're dealing with someone who has an issue with letting go or trusting in the, or, or tr for them, uh, trusting themselves. And facing the fear of the unknown. And that's where you guys mirror one another. So instead of pointing the damn finger at this one and that one and that one and that one. Come on, let's run, let's run it in. Okay? That's a lesson that we're all having to learn. Nobody is greater than the other. Okay? For some of you all, your crown chakra during this time is going to be outrageous popping. A lot of you guys are receiving a lot of messages, whether you're conscious or within the subconscious state. For those of you who are, some of y'all are connecting with your ancestors and they're not waiting for you to go to sleep in the month of September. Some of you guys are at, okay, some of y'all I'm hearing are mediums, okay? First off, y'all got spirits screaming at me. So, I definitely feel the energy of some of y'all not listening to your damn spirit guides or just when your ancestors tell you something, you're like, uh, bye Felicia, tomorrow please. I mean, this is, I, let me tell you something, Libra. Who? Tired of your shit already. Who, who not? Who y'all fucking with? Because some of you all, I'm hearing external. This is external to you, okay? For some of you all, you're waiting for another person to make a move when spirit is saying you have to take the leadership in making a decision on choosing your damn self. This is a past life obstacle for some of you all, but what you don't know is if you move forward, okay, the blessings on the other side are beautiful and a whole lot of expansive energy, some to some to grow on. That plus some, and for some of you all, it's going to take you conquering the fear of the unknown because for some of y'all, the person who you reconnected with has some very similar damn behavior to this karmic in the past, but now this person has also gone through uh, this state of um, evolution, the state of evolving, okay? This this person is going through a transformation, and I feel like this is um, this sense of like a dark night of the soul for some of you all. You're going through a spiritual awakening, Libra, and I feel like some of you all are being called to lead by example. So for some of you all, you are the catalyst to someone else's awakening, which is why you're having to release the situation. And there's blessings on the other side via Jupiter for doing so, okay? The next message I got is you know what to do. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay, okay? So for some of you all, I definitely feel like there's this energy around the throat chakra. Some of you all could also be, again, I'm giving the energy of your archangels, your spirit guides, baby, they on your head. Things are being illuminated in order to be some type of catalyst situation for you to release a person. But it's going to require for you to stand forth and stand up for your self-worth. People only do what the fuck you allow them to do. And I heard somebody else say some shit the other day talking about people don't just do what you allow them to do because sometimes you're annoying in this, 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 that. I don't give a damn. You can with spirit that shit don't feel right do you understand respect trust acknowledge and move accordingly to your inner god and goddess because for some of you all you're choosing to stay in a situation that is hurtful a situation that was supposed to build you and elevate you to your highest self and get your ass to pumping and moving and, mo and, 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 and build that momentum some of you all have created businesses some of you all are really flourishing and so you're looking back at somebody else trying to pull them along the damn red race and it's not meant for them to go. Which is why you find yourself in this space of ten step, well, two steps forward, ten steps back. Because you're needing to release a situation. You know what to do. Your guys have already illuminated, have spread his shed light on a matter for you. And for some of you all, I'm feeling this, this petty energy of uh, even someone or people or a situation that you're connected with. Some of you all, this has to do with the job. You're an innovator, you're a creator, you're a boss, and you're choosing to take direction and order from somebody else. And I feel like the continuous chaos is not going to stop until you do something to change the situation. You have to go do something different to receive an outcome that you've never received before, uh, have you, that you haven't received before. Yeah, before. Shit, I said the shit, right? Fuck, it sounded lame as fuck, though, but we're going to keep it moving. I was like, damn, did I say that right? Becky moment. Oh, let's get it. All right. <clears throat> 
Some of you all, this Pisces, this new or this full moon in Pisces is going to be bringing things to the surface. Anything that was hidden, anything that was hidden uh, under the sun is going to be illuminated by that uh, full moon. OK, for some of you all, that moon is going to activate some type of business idea. And they're wanting you to jump on it and not just sit on the idea because some of y'all are sitting on million dollar creations tomorrow, please. No, motherfucker today. OK. Last angel message you guys got was you are safe. Archangel Michael, I'm protecting you against lower energies and guarding you and your loved ones and home, okay? So for some of you all, there's a fear of speaking the truth because I definitely feel like for some of you all, there's this fear of being unstable or not being able to build or for that matter, not not being able to... For some of y'all, I'm here losing control of a situation or not being in control of a situation. You having to learn how to trust and... To believe in everything, believe in the unseen, the unknown. For some of you all, this is a hell of a test to your patience and your faith. Others of you, you're healing. I feel as if Spirit is saying you can't heal with what broke you in the first place. Because for some of you all, there has been a continuous lesson, a, a, a particular energy placed into your life to build you or get you to this space of being sick and tired of being fucking sick and tired to show you what you're capable of and for some of you all you're in that space and i feel that your head has already left the building some of y'all your heart didn't left the building but your damn feet have yet to follow out of this fear of what's going to happen to the other person well for some of y'all with this person giving a damn about what's going to happen to them when they do the shit that they do hmm. Hmm. Leah, to think about that one, okay? So for you guys, uh, the cards that fell out for you all, I got four, okay, from the ocean. So I actually asked for one damn card. Libra, y'all answers got four. I asked for one here too. You got two. I said, listen, Libra, just difficult. Difficult. I love y'all asses. Y'all makes me, first and foremost, I can't believe that girl said I don't like Libras. I'm, I'm going to talk about it because that really bothered me. I was like, how can she say that? First and foremost, my favorite readers on YouTube happen to be Tomas Chero. Who's a Libra? Also, I like Astro Queen. She's a Libra. I love Ghetto Nine. She's a Libra. House of Motion. She's a Libra. Everybody else that I watch is either Aries or Sag because of the delivery of the message is just going to be savage. And I don't need no in, in between cuts and stuff. I'm an Aries. Never forget. OK, so I definitely feel that that's not true, little baby. And I hate that I made you feel like that. But y'all, sometimes. If you look at it from the perception of, and that's another thing, I feel like some of you all tend to take things negatively versus seeing the brighter side. Because to be very honest with you all, with some of the stuff that was going on with me being extremely busy, and also I felt it was an energetic thing as well. Because for some reason, every time I did, I sat down and do your video twice before. One time, Spirit told me no. The second time, I sat down and do your reading. I had so many damn distractions that before I knew it, time had just passed me by. When I really passed me by, I was doing other shit, y'all. Come on now. It's me plus 16,000 people. I, I thank thank the universe. Really thank God. Thank everybody, whoever you play to. Okay, I know who I roll. But I feel like I'm very thankful for the fact that I am very abundant. But because of that, y'all, it's just me. You know what I'm saying? So y'all be patient with me a little bit. I definitely, again, your patience is going to be tested in the month of September. But it's only preparing you for the beauty, that, for the beautiful door that's trying to open for you in October if you choose to make a move forward. But not look at things from a, from a negative space, you know, but look at things from more so a positive space, you know. Look at it like, okay, well, Mocha's saving the best for last. Or for that damn matter, you know, well, maybe Mocha is going through. So how many times I told y'all I have a Libra rise? And I be shouting that shit out because I, I'm really grateful for that placement being right there because it helps me make very balanced emotional decisions. You get what I'm saying? All right. So for you guys, you guys got consciousness. You got letting go. You got stress. Oh, that's stress. And I definitely hear it when I look at this stress card, I hear literally pressure bus pipes beyond illusion. OK, so for some of you all, I definitely feel like you're being called to release a situation or make a judgment regarding a situation due to the things that have been illuminated for you. Some of you all, you've been knowing fear guides until you 
a little God himself who came down and shook your ass up like, hey, Libra. <laughs> hey, Libra. This is, I'm needing you to let this go, you know. And for some of you all, there is this, I feel that there's this um, this up and down energy with it. Like one day, you know, I'm cool, I'm secure in making a decision. And the next day, I'm really not so sure. I'm not knowing. I got to plan this. And, I, and it's like tomorrow will never come. So Spirit is saying, for some of you all, your prayers are not going unheard. In fact, this is a very blessed time for you all. But you have to be willing to see beyond the smoke and to be real with yourself. Are you fulfilled? Are you happy? Are you living in a facade? Are we not releasing a situation based on the perception of the outside world and what they're going to say? Will I be received as a failure? Because I'm not. I've done everything that I can do. And if another person lacks the ability to see, y'all, I'm heavy crying and shit. Another person lacks the ability to see your beauty both inside and out and appreciate your substance. They don't deserve to be not only not a part, but to exist in the beauty that you created for your damn self. A lot of you guys rehab yourself with the help of your spirit guides, your ancestors. But there is no right and wrong, Libra. There's only an experience. And if you never go, you'll never know. Some of you guys have an opportunity to uh, leave the state. I'm feeling some of you guys. <laughs> some of you guys, you're doing everything that you can to hold a situation together. And there's always someone around you, I feel, that's popping your bubble. There's always someone around you that is creating turbulence within your flow. And it's like this person goes as if they're, unless, as if they're unknowing or they just simply don't give a fuck. Because enough can never be enough because you're dealing with an ungrateful person. But you have to be willing to accept that. Spirit is saying, let it go. Let it go. With the eight being here, this was destined. Let it go. Because consciously, you're becoming more aware to know the beauty is on the other side. It's not your part to try and hold shit together as a place damn holder until you get to that place. Because spirit does everything that's supposed to be, that is destined to be, in order. Okay, so let's get it. Sticking this love life of the Libra. See what's going on. Oh, I did have this this here left too. Okay, so four signs fell for you guys. You guys, I got Scorpio. I got Capricorn. I heard Rising Venus Sun. Okay. So this could be your rising Venus sun or the person that you're dealing with. Rising Venus sun, any of these signs. Second sign I got was Capricorn. Gemini. Sagittarius. Okay. So I'm going to pull on those particular ones or those energies particular to see what we got. Okay. Intuitively with the Scorpio, I feel like that this is a relationship that is written in the stars. It's destined. But you guys have to find someone had to conquer that damn victim mindset. I feel like in the past, that's where you guys could have mapped, mirrored one another. Okay. I also feel that this person is wanting to come towards you. And funny because the Scorpio has the number eight and then the eight fell. Okay. So again, eight, eight. All right. So some of you guys could be seeing um, four, 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 four. Or 8 8 a whole lot, okay? For some of you all, I definitely feel like there's movement forward. Someone is wanting to open up and communicate with you. I feel like it's going to shock you because for some of you all, yeah, this person wants to come in and move things forward. They want to grow with you. For some of you all, you have a family with this person. You could have children with this person. And they could have broke your heart very, very, very. They could have broke, your, broke you down like a bicycle baby in the past. But I definitely feel like this person has grown. They feel very guilty for what they've done. Some of y'all could even be dreaming of this person. I definitely feel like this is someone from your past. Okay, you did love this person. Again, this is also a past life connection, all right? For some of you all, either you or another person is really in their damn head. But during this time, I feel like this person is going to get out of their head. 
And if they don't choose to get out of their head, this person is just going to stand in their way on something that could be rebuilt and beautiful and, and built beautifully. Okay. I feel that if you're dealing with a Capricorn, you could be ending this cycle, okay? If you have this in your chart, I definitely feel like you're being called to make a judgment to release uh, to release a particular cycle in order to have another one. I feel like there's a whole lot of anxiety about the situation because there's clarity needed before releasing the situation. Some of you all, there's a need for you to accept and surrender versus because you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to find out. The inevitable, this person is literally using truth as a way to keep you in this space of, um, this person is using truth and clarity to keep you in this space of bondage or keep you emotionally attached to the situation. So therefore that you won't, pretty much therefore that you won't move on. Okay. I definitely feel some mental fucking here if you're dealing with the sign of Capricorn. You or this other person could be extremely manipulative. And I definitely feel like if you wanted clarity, if someone was juggling, yes, there is. If you deal with the sign of Capricorn, truth is, yeah, truth is going to be illuminated around this situation I'm hearing. Because somebody thinks, yeah, somebody playing God. Somebody feels that they can outsmart the creator. And the universe got other plans. And my y'all didn't come to play with this motherfucker, whoever this Capricorn energy is. I don't like it. I definitely feel like there could have been, yeah, some, yeah somebody could have actually been juggling you in a relationship. So this could have even been a third party situation. Someone could have been dealing with uh, a Capricorn on the side or you could have been have that in your chart. I definitely feel like someone's wanting to end the situation and someone is making another person feel guilty. I'm also hearing blackmail. Somebody could be even blackmailing you for trying to end a situation. This could be the mental anxiety around it. Like somebody saying that they're going to threaten to tell your partner or this could be you doing this to this person. But I definitely feel like, yeah, a releasing coming about and I feel like it's a double-edged sword, but it's a situation where you, you're, you're being called to release this situation, but the reason why you were even going outside of your own situation is because you knew that you were supposed to release your own damn partner, but you're trying to put placeholders in between. And I feel like for some of y'all, that has been that behavior has been the blockage, and allowing that behavior has been the blockage of a major blessing for you, especially when it comes to your finances. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn, Sun, uh, Venus or rising, I feel like the, the the slowdown with this individual and why things can't be put back together on a financial front or for that matter from an emotional space and why there's no harmony is because there's no honesty, there's no trust. And to be honest with you, this is some bullshit. Where did you meet this person? Okay. Whew. Overall, some of you guys are going to choose to restart this shit. Some of you guys are trying to make it work. Okay. When spirit is calling you to release this situation. If you're dealing with the sign of Gemini, this person wants to grow with you. They want to bring balance to a situation. I feel like there is some kind of power struggle. Um, a war of the wits, I'm hearing. Okay. Yeah, but there's also fulfillment with this person. Okay. I feel like this person had a hard time opening up in the past. I've been, I feel like some of you guys were physically wanting this person or this person could have recently opened up and expressed just a little bit of how they feel and what they feel a whole lot. This person wants to grow with you. They see you as fulfillment. I definitely feel like there needs to be an equal level of give and take with the situation or for someone to actually set healthy boundaries up front in order for it to be able to blossom, okay? I do feel that there is a lot of passion in the situation. This person is definitely a soulmate, and some of you guys are leaving behind something to move toward this person, and it looks really beautiful, okay? If you're dealing with a damn Sagittarius, I brought y'all up in the Sag video. I did. When I was telling them, thank you for not being pity like you. Y'all know I had two face. I'm going to tell you to your face. Did I tell Taurus I wasn't doing any fucking videos because they fucking with my money? Mm -hmm. But I love you. I don't love you no ass. I don't love your ass no less. Love the shit out you. Sagittarius. Some of you guys, I feel like there's a cycle trying to come to completion. For some of you all, you have a family with this person. You have children with this person. I definitely feel like this person wants to start a new with you. They want to make an offer, but they don't know how because of the damage that they did in the past or the damage that was done in the past. Someone could have triggered um, triggered the other in this relationship. Somebody could have actually took another person off their damn mental kilter for quite some time with triggering their abandonment issues. Um, somebody could have left somebody also with a baby, I'm hearing. And this person is wanting to come in. Kwame didn't got the um, mother may I, mother mod is whooping ass right now. Okay, Kwame wants to come in. This person, I, I'm 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 hearing 
um, bolder, bolder. So this person feels as if what they've done to you has created some type of blockage in their lives. So they want to come in and rectify a situation, bring balance to it. I feel as if they want to communicate, they want to apologize, yet there is this slight omittance of truth. I feel like ask the right questions with this individual because for some of y'all, this individual wants to balance things out. They even may say that they want to be in a situation with you, but they still need to let go this water sign, this fire sign, or this earth sign because I feel like this person, it could be beautiful, but this person juggles people out of this fear of losing or not having or having this lack thereof. And I feel like this person is wanting, for some of y'all, this person want to come in and show you. They want to show you there's newness, but some of you all, you're afraid to roll the dice. Some of you guys feel like this is a really big gamble, but to be very honest with you, it's going to be beautiful. First of all, I got, I got these, y'all. Beautiful. Beautiful. Reconciliation. For some of y'all, the person who you were actually reconciling with at the beginning is a Sagittarius. Hey, I definitely feel this energy, this negative energy trying to come to a closing so that something more beautiful can be renewed. Okay? Some of y'all are actually needed to release a cycle because the Sagittarius want to move somewhere new and have start something new with another fire sign or a water sign or an earth sign. Okay? So I feel like a cycle for some of y'all could be coming to a completion. But for some of you all, there's a renewal happening after um, some type of conflict is resolved up front. Okay? So let's get it. Let's get it. Y'all, that, that, that low key resonates with me because I sure got a Gemini Venus in the Libra rising. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't keep moving, dog. Don't keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. All right. So let's get a spirit. What messages do you have? For my la 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 Libras. For my September. Lucky Libras. Y'all invite me to y'all birthday party. Y'all be me. <laughs> No, for real though. <laughs> Invite me to the party. This girl will be in Florida in either October or November. So yeah. But I want to say October. Should we can do a late party if we can come late to the party? Let's get it. So what messages where do you have to leave for some of rather than as well as the cross markets for the month of September? What messages do you have? That new New, new. Some of you guys got that new, new coming. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with the Leo. Some of you guys are also welcoming any children into the world. Mocha love the kids. Congratulations, okay? For some of you all, someone is wanting to come back in and re uh, lay a situation to rest that could have been a bit drama feel in the past. This person wants to come in. They want to show you, Libra. They want to put in the work, okay? Let them. Okay? For some of you all, this has to do... Some of you, some of you guys... Some of y'all are dealing with a new air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person came in to assist you with healing and moving forward. Where you could, where you were having a hard time making a decision, okay? And some of you guys are needing to make a decision on if you want to work something out with an old partner, someone from your past, or if you want to move completely new because both of the options are showing up in the month of September. I do feel that there is truth and clarity coming to bring healing to a situation, possibly involving another air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius. This could also be involving a fire sign. Every real Sagittarius, okay? Some of you guys are yeah, some of you guys are going to make a decision to not make a decision in the month of September. I feel like the decision will be more so made in the month of October as we as we get ready to close out your birthday season, going into Scorpio season. Some of you all, some of you all don't know if you, some of you guys are using keeping your damn options open. Now, some of you guys are dating to deal with your feelings, and I feel like this spirit is trying to call you to give yourself that time to not mask your emotions because you will be triggered yet again, okay? For some of you all, you could have met someone or reconciled with someone in Leo season, and this person could be giving you an ultimatum uh, at this time, you know? This person is definitely a soulmate to you. For some of you all, it's a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. For others of you, this person is a bit insecure at the fact that they feel as if, okay, so some of you all could have come from some type of, whoa, puppy ass? Okay. Yeah. For some of y'all, this person doesn't trust the fact that you're going to be faithful to them. Due to the, this is crazy. Now, this person, this person, I feel as if they were okay with a third party situation before, but the fact that 
there is this third party energy now that now that you guys are actually like making moves and making plans this person is feeling a bit insecure on if, if libra cheating on this person will libra cheat on me you know and i definitely feel like you understand more so of the aspect of it being a divine uh, connection more than this person does you're more spiritually aware this person just knows that libra pulled their heartstrings some of you all, um, a Scorpio is going to be opening up to you. And I definitely feel like it's going to fuck your head up because I feel like in the past, this person could have been concealing their emotions. And for some of you all, you've been manifesting this new beginning. You've been manifesting this happiness, this abundance, this success. And for some of you all, you're getting a rude awakening because you thought that you were with your twin flame, which is why you stayed in the situation for so damn long. But you're finding out that actually that twin flame of yours might be an Aries, might be a Scorpio, this person might be a damn Leo, this person actually might be um, another Libra. For some of you all, this person is a Pisces or a Gemini or a Sag. Some of you all could also be uh, confronting a situation, possibly dealing with your father, okay? Some of you all are actually dealing with childhood wounds, having conversations with your parents where you could have felt abandoned or neglected. There is some type of truth and clarity involving a family situation. I heard fraternity, okay? This could involve some type of deception in the past, possibly from a Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? There could also be a Capricorn towards Virgo or a Cancer involved, okay? For some of you all, you're going into a new cycle and you're going to have to leave somebody behind in order to start this cycle, all right? For some of you all, you got an opportunity, a beautiful opportunity with dealing with a cancer. But I feel like this person could have recently stopped speaking to you or possibly uh, you could be dealing with this person. Stop. This person may stop speaking with you. Because um, I feel like this is having to do with an ultimatum, making a decision. Choosing. Will you choose happiness or continuous bullshit? The choice is yours, okay? For some of you all... Um, if there were any type of secrets or things that, that you were waiting to be illuminated, they will. But that Pisces full moon is going to bring that banger for some of you all. And for some of you all, it's going to bring reconciliations with uh, past life. Some of y'all past life soulmates. And for some of y'all, this person is your life partner. No matter you had a, look, listen, you had plans and spirit had other plans. You, you, it's like some of you guys are holding on to what you thought that you needed. Or that, what you thought that you wanted, but spirit is giving you what you need. Okay, so let me break this down the elements before I even clarify. Okay, so if you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I definitely feel like some of you all are bringing balance to a situation during this time by actually choosing to move forward and work things out. I definitely feel like someone feels this sense of lack in this particular partnership or someone is keeping told into their damn self that they are not financially fulfilled or they don't feel this sense of safety, okay? Someone feels as if they can't move forward or someone has this lack mindset, which is preventing this relationship from growing in a practical way, okay? I do feel that for some of you all, again... <sighs> Some of y'all going to choose to move forward in the midst of all of these secrets and all of this shit. And there's this sense of later on feeling this aspect of a missed opportunity, which is going to put you in this space of beating yourself up. Some of y'all, I'm hearing you already there because of a decision that you didn't make in the month of August. I do feel that that, situ that that situation is going to come back around in the month of October. For those of you who do not make this decision in September, I see that before November, some of y'all, a lot of y'all going to be with a whole nother person. Happy, doing well and swell, business booming, okay? Some of you all are making a decision to leave a job during this time. And some of y'all not going to tell nobody. You're just not going to show up. They're going to call you and be like, Libra, you're supposed to be here at 8. You're going to be like, I quit, bitch. Click on some shit. <laughs> all right. So if you're dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you all, yeah, there's truth and clarity coming to a situation, okay? For some of you all, there was a missing piece of information. For others of you, this person is making a decision to heal a situation with you and let go of a third party. I definitely feel like for some of you all, there is some type of... Whew, truth could be coming from your mother for some of y'all regarding your father, who your father is. Some of y'all could be finding that out during this time. Some of y'all could find it out in the midst of argument. Between family members, others of you, someone who you haven't spoken with in quite some time who chose to abandon you and not make a damn decision. Now this person wants to come in and talk, tell the truth, apologize, and lay the hurt to rest in order to bring balance back to a situation. Okay? If you are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. 
some of you all could have cut this person off or this person could have actually made you feel abandoned or abandoned you in the past. They was chasing waterfalls and shit. But the wheel dried the fuck up. And they was they was thirsty lately. Some of y'all, this person is coming back from your past thirsty. Okay? Others of you, I definitely feel like this person is a soulmate. I feel like this person feels guilty behind what they how they treated you in the past. Okay, for some of y'all, you definitely have children with this person. For others of you, this person could have actually had some type of uh, addiction issue or drinking or smoking. Somebody somebody puts their money um if somebody has somebody has like an immature tie to money. So some of y'all, this person is going to tell you that they had some type of addiction issue. Some of y'all, this person is also going to tell you that they deal with some type of sexual abuse or it runs in their family, which is why they abandon you and your children. And this somewhere in their subconscious, they feel as if they were keeping them safe. It's going to sound bad, she crazy to some of y'all, but some of y'all are dealing with somebody who may have uh, um, some type of illness within their family mentally. Dealing with a water sign from your past. Some of you all are dealing with the new damn water sign. And this is your wish. This is what you wish for. However, you got all these people from the past contacting you. And again, you got an issue with letting go. You want to try and slide in and see what's good with everybody. The spirit is saying, let that shit go. One soulmate is connected to where you're trying to go and your growth. And others are connected to the bullshit that built you thus far. Okay. You're dealing with a fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius. First off, I got one fire sign card. Some of y'all could be reconciling with the fire sign. For some of you all, you have a fire sign, Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Strong Leo vibes up in the same. Strong Sag vibes up in the same. Aries here too, the Emperor card. Because I feel that for some of you all, this is about a reconciliation, a coming together, the great 11 11, okay? Starting something new. Some of you all are meant to have. Or be in business, um, or have some type of do some type of spiritual work with your soulmate. Okay, so all this major arcana that I had here, we gotta clarify that individually. You guys, I got the strength card, the sun, the chariot, the death, the moon, the world, the tower, the justice. Okay, so I definitely feel the energy of karmic justice, things being put where they're supposed to go. Okay, why is the strength card here? My Libra, yes. For some of you all, some of y'all are leaving a Leo behind. Okay, you're you're really kind of tired of this person, make you feel this sense of less there and lack thereof. I also heard rising. Okay, so for some of y'all, you could have a Leo rising, or this person could have a Leo rising. Some of you all, you have the option to start new, but you're having to leave something behind. And for some of you all, this is some of y'all. It has to do with your confidence. Okay. For some of y'all, it's not really a person. It's an actual job or an occupation. You call, you're being called to choose passion over a paycheck and have faith, okay? The sun. The sun. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? For Libra? Hmm. Come on now. Things being illuminated. Someone wants to illuminate something. Tell the truth. They want to cut. They want to speak honestly. Someone coming not full of shit, not with the bullshit. I feel like in the past, funny thing is that the strength in the sun card genuinely represents Leo. So for some of you all, somebody better get their ass right before they get left. And for some of you all, you could have to choose between two damn Leos. Others of you, you could have something new starting with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? And some of y'all just have to do with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a water sign. But you're needing to leave something or someone behind when it comes to reconciling with someone. Some of you all have someone trying a fire sign that wants to come back and reconcile with you, and this person made you feel as if you were one of their options. Now this person sees your work because the player got played, baby. They're going to communicate with this to you. Why is the death card here? Poor Libra. Why is the death card here? Yes. Yes, you can have whatever you like. Transformation, okay? Things actually falling into space. The world being your damn oyster. You're going through a transformation, but it's going to require for you to have the strength to walk away. Abandon ship when it comes to reconciling with people who make you feel less than. The fuck? Some of y'all, you need, you need to be aware because some of you guys have a water energy. Or this damn Leo coming in. 
And I feel like they made you an option, but now this person could be going through some type of financial issues. And I feel like you have enough on your plate. And I feel like you need to be real with your damn self. For some of you all, this person wants to reconcile, possibly after going out here and having a damn baby and shit being cut the fuck off and it not working. And you kind of in your head on, if I want to do this, you could have even been married to this person. Why is the cherry here? Why is the cherry here? I mean, y'all have a new cancer coming into your life, but you got to cut off a damn earth sign. Okay? Some of y'all got two people you got to cut off. Others of you, the chariot. Okay, so some of you guys, some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of cancer. Some of y'all just could have to do with the uh, um, Gemini Libra Aquarius or a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. This person, some of you guys could be telling this person you're going to cut their ass off. And some of y'all, this, yeah, this has to do with actual movement. Some of you guys are moving away and setting boundaries and actually letting somebody know, listen, I'm done with that shit. I have an option to be t with this new new to be happy. First of all, y'all got two aces on the board. What the fuck is sun card? The fuck are you thinking about this for? Run, sis. Put your fastest Nikes on and hit, take off, baby. I mean, what are we thinking about this for? Um, For some of you all, you have someone coming in that is not, that, that they don't have an issue with opening up. They don't have an issue with being vulnerable. They're coming to your life to add to, not just be the takers that you used to, Libra. Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here for them? Huh? Truth is being illuminated so that you can move forward, okay? Or move on from a situation. Move forward within a situation if there is some type of commitment with the, with the truth and clarity to make a balanced decision when it comes to judgment, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all been keeping it, keeping it a secret that you finna move. You actually got a whole nother place in a whole new space. And you make the decision on if you're going to take somebody with you because you also got an option of new love. But some of y'all are a slave to your loyalty. Choose you, Libra. Why is the world here? Why is the Hmm. Some of you guys are going into a new cycle that is abundant, baby. Okay, for some of you all, some of y'all could also be receiving some type of engagement. Like somebody's new, somebody new could have came in your life in the month of August, like Leo season toward the end of July. This could have been a reconciliation with somebody who you had kids with. I feel like you've been, been, been the hold up of things moving forward. But after something is illuminated or someone's feelings is illuminated, some of y'all are dealing with somebody else who is holding, who is very depressed behind the fact that they can't be with another person. For some of y'all, this is a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Some of y'all is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio and some of y'all is a Capricorn to Virgo. I feel like you're going into a new cycle, one that is built to last, solid foundations, okay? But you are the tower moment, Libra. Some of you all are being called to be the catalyst of someone's growth, releasing. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. I can have another you in a minute. Matter of fact, he'll be here in a minute. Baby, okay, someone um could actually be telling you that they are um having a hard time choosing between yourself, a fire sign, a water sign, okay, this could even be someone who they have children with or who they were married to, they're kind of in their head about it, and for some of you all, you in your head about leaving this damn king of club behind. Ultimately, but both of you all are needing to make a decision. You're getting ready to be enlightened by this for those of you in relationships, okay? Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? For some of you all, there's some type of dream or some type of realization, okay, regarding a particular person. This person could be a fire sign or a water sign. Some of y'all are having to choose between the twin flame and the past life soulmate. Yes, what I tell you, a twin flame and a past life soulmate, okay? There is no wrong choice. There's an experience. Both opportunities look damn good, but I feel like for those of you who have three choices, Two of them being good, one of them knowing, being some known bullshit. You know what to do, okay? So, for some of you all, there's something beautiful trying to blossom with an Aries. But you're needing to make a decision on leaving your past completely behind, okay? Some of you all, there is some type of blessing. I feel a, mir a miraculous energy when it comes to the justice system. Some of y'all are dealing with a fire sign who you could have been going through, going to, uh, through some type of court court proceedings with okay some of y'all this person is going to take it they don't want to go through the divorce they want to start new they see that you are their love you they told me i don't want to go through this divorce being away from you made me feel let me know that i miss you and i don't want to be without you 
I want to reconcile. Some of y'all, somebody could have been treating you or your children like shit until they were waiting on some type of paternity. But truth be told, they were only being petty because you chose to leave their bullshit behind. Because this person loves the fuck out of you, Libra. Okay? But some of y'all, um, this could be, um, again, Aries Leo Sag. I definitely feel like this is about you guys making a confident decision to choose yourself and to choose your fulfillment and the things that make you happy. The universe says they're following your lead, Libra. Okay? So for some of you all, you get this equal give and take. You get this true love. You get all of this when you choose to release some shit that you're not receiving that harmony in. That you don't feel as if you're going to be uh, independently or you're going to be financially stable by your damn self. Because you got to take her around you. A grown ass kid around you. And this is all you want. Love. Fulfillment. Spirit is saying you can have a package deal and you choose to leave the bullshit in the past behind you, okay? For some of you all, um, some of y'all gonna make a decision to work it out with someone from your past. You're gonna choose to uh, to walk into the unknown, to trust, and to allow spirit to lead the way and only know that and only know and see that love is real. Okay? So this is what I have for y'all last for the month of September, baby. I will be back mid-month to check in on this tea here, honey. Until then, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. I'm going to do Aquarius next, but after I get Aquas up, then I'm going to go ahead and run a sale, possibly. If I do, I'm not even going to tell y'all, because Libras be like, look. Y'all be sending me emails. Y'all are some emails sending motherfuckers. Y'all will send a bitch email, okay? Forty who? Bitch, do your job. Get on there on the YouTube side. It, <laughs> Oh, gosh. I love you all. Aqua is my last sign. Sad should be up because I was actually recording them and I was actually uploading them and recording you guys. So I love you all. Long time. If you need that personal, hit me up, y'all. Um, I send you all love, healing, um, prosperity, you all. This is, we're moving into a very loving time and understand that before blessings come, blessings don't come without the damn chaos first. Period. You got to go through some shit to get some shit. It's only right. All right. So I love you all. And I will see you all here for the mid months. Again, I'm cutting out readings on the 19th. So y'all better get it in. Love y'all. Bye, babies. Namaste.